your mind put that down
don't believe it. You're taking a crap? I can't help it. I couldn't hold it any longer. Christ's sake. Guess they're looking for someone in this area. Bullshit! They're coming for us! It's the right building, no mistake about that, but there's no sign of anything happening. There are intruders in here! Please! Somebody broke in! Somebody get the police! Quick! They're burglars! Burglars! Intruders! There they are! They're getting away! What's going on, Luigi? How should I know? Put that damn light out. There they are! Grab them! What are you waiting for? Shoot! Shoot them! I don't get away! Look, there they are on the run! Over there! Over there! Don't let them get away! Why don't they take him away? It's so cruel to leave him there. It's obscene. It means nobody's safe. Not even at home. Ma, I'm going out, okay? Everyone's sitting around waiting to watch it all over again on TV like ghouls. Don't talk rubbish. They're waiting for the police to come and question them. Well, I'm off now. Ciao. Got enough money for lunch? Yes. Ciao. Ciao. It's incredible. But some things only seem to happen to others until one day you realize we're all in the same boat. Same as in war. What a night. Now listen, if the man from the insurance calls, send him to my office. Where my keys go? I put the receipts in the green file. See you this evening. So yeah. long. Paper, sir. There's a new Swedish one. That's 16, please. Mm. Kind of expensive, isn't it? Thank you. No Virgin Sun. The new idea of the room. Presents three minutes with Nando La Panza. Good morning, Mother. You're tired before your day begins. You drive to work in heavy traffic, seated for hours at a time in your car, unable to move more than a few muscles. Your limbs suffer, your circulation suffers, and above all, your digestion suffers. Your nerves start to fray, and you lose patience with all those around you. The sound of horns and sirens sends you into a frenzy. Your head throbs and your eyes burn. Anger turns to rage and the bile rises in your throat. That's when you are exposed to the danger of acid burn. If you're left uncared for, and quickly turns to stomach ulcers.
realize, Inspector, they got one boy, but the others are still free as the birds. They could easily, easily try to avenge the, the boy's death. I'm out of work all day, and my, my family's at home, and I must admit, it's a worrying situation. Are you, you suggesting there's a long-term solution to the problem? Yes, of course there is. I don't have to tell you what it is. Come on, now. Sure I mean, a tax-paying citizen... That old routine. Inspector, citizens do have rights. I mean, it may seem like routine to you. I'm sure you got a lot of requests for it. I'm sure we get a lot of requests of this nature. Well, I don't mean to offend, but I do think I'm entitled to some kind of protection. To what exactly? Well, I mean, you could send a police guard to keep an eye on my wife and daughter for a couple of days. Nothing permanent, just, just someone to drop in and make sure they're all right. I mean, that's not too much to ask, is it, Inspector? Is that too much to ask? I really don't think... A man in your position can afford a video camera at the door. We really don't have the men to send out. We'd need an army. But what do you do if somebody breaks into your Keep house? Keep calm and call the police. Don't forget to send my TV set around this evening. I promise the kids. Don't worry. Bye. I'll see you too. But didn't you hear anything? Wouldn't matter, even if I had. There were three. And I'm sure that the, they were armed. You mean you know because there's a gun? No. Oh, really? God. There's no point in calling in the police. You must know that. Huh? Carlini, you got it on you today? Sure have. Give our friend a look. I don't take crap from anyone. <laughs> and he means that. Any nonsense? I smash it. I'm just dying for some little hooligan to get in. He wouldn't live long. Kill them before they kill you, that's my law. Well, I gotta go take a leak, fellas. <laughs> Bang, 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 bang! <laughs> That's what I call a weapon. If you can't use that, you're licked. <laughs> bang, 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 bang! <laughs> bang, bang! Oh, all right, if you feel that way. Hey, you guys, get the lead out and we'll have time to visit Janeska. Oh, that's a pretty good idea. How do you feel? Would you like to join us? No, I'd rather not. I'm still paying doctor fees on our last child. You can leave me That's alone. what you get for having kids. Ciao, see you later. Ciao. So long. Ciao. Goodbye. How are you? Come on, Luigi. Okay, tell me everything. Oh, a surprise for you, that's all. We've got a new girl who looks almost like a virgin. So Christine's not the only one? <laughs> no. Luigi, I hate to ask, only could you settle last month's account today? I've had a lot of extra expenses lately, all right? Now then, let's see, it's 50,000 for the girl. Mm-hmm. 20 for the film roll. Camera hire. 20% agency. Uh, 150 in all. Hmm. Would you do me a favor, though? Mm. Don't put it in the bank for, well, a week or 10 days, Of course all right? I won't, that's all right. You said? Only 150. Oh, crude. Disgusting. I'll remember this. Stay just like that. Let me capture it forever. What a moment. Arms up. That's it. was on the spot within minutes. The three young men were still in the place when the police arrived and there was a brief exchange of fire. One of the young bandits was killed. The other two are now in custody but refuse to give their names. The dead boy remains unidentified. The only witness to the tragedy is with me now. Her name is... Vita Carlini. I'm a singer. What kind of singer? Classical. Tell me now, Signora Carlini, what happened exactly? Well, I'll try. You were the one, uh, the one who called the police? Yes, I was. I realized... Bastards. Oh, I'm seldom in bed as early as that. We professional people are used to keeping You're right, eight hours. Are. I couldn't sleep before midnight. What did you hear? Oh, the sound of cars, motorbikes. You know those things kids ride. Infernal now, things. Now, how was it that your suspicions were aroused? Can you tell me that, Signora? Oh, well, the noises I heard were loud and came clearly from overhead. There was obviously some <laughs> apartment above mine. Well, I thought the only thing to do was to get help. So What's I the matter with it? So I neighbor who's a doctor. But unfortunately, there was Pretty no soon. answer, and I couldn't remember the number so of the police. You 
it shook the hell out of me, too, I can tell you. She's still a kid. We were forced to live in a constant atmosphere of violence and aggression. And I was able to call them, and they came almost immediately. Thank you. It was a shame. These kids should be protected, guided. Sounds very easy. I know. I know it's not easy. Because they don't want to be protected. They don't want to know. I obeyed my father. I did what I was told. And I haven't regretted it yet. I mean, let's face it, there are certain basic values that you have to respect. Friendship, loyalty, honesty, work, family. You know, those things, you get chaos. I don't think the kids today refuse our values. They don't know the meaning. I think that they just refuse to accept them blindly. That's all that I'm sure. They're honest just like us. It's simple. They want to love and they want to work. What they don't want is to be taken for a ride in the name of values. Oh, come on. Think we take advantage of our daughter? We let her do what she likes. Hello. Hello? Anybody there? You see the kind of friends Rosanna has? A very bad-mannered crowd. Look, whoever you are, stop playing the fool, will you? Oh. Ciao, Liliana. Yeah. No, one of those idiots just called that doesn't speak on the phone. What's that? Oh, God. Not all over again. But, yes, of course. I'm sure, I'm just trying to think of it. I'm... No, I can't budge from here right now. My mother's had another attack. How much? God, what thieves. Imagine taking advantage of the sick. <sighs> well, all right. Yeah, I'll send the money tomorrow. Uh, no, no, uh, in, in a couple of days. Yeah. Yeah, ciao. Yeah, all right. And when it's all over and done with, the whole thing's financial. It's a question of money. Martha? I'm hearing funny noises. Uh, Didn't you hear a bang just then? What? You, what? What time is it? You're just nervous. Put the light out. You just imagine.
really wanted to ask. Have the others been caught, Inspector? No, but one dead seems to be enough. Listen, people could have been hurt if there'd been a shootout in the building. You can't have a shootout if your bandits are unarmed. There's a court of inquiry into this right but now. Unarmed? Come on. Those hooligans all carry weapons. They must have hidden them or, or thrown them away. They commit murder for a, a handful of small change. Well, if you'll sign a statement swearing they were armed, you'll get three irate fathers out of my hair. Your testimony would be useful. My testimony? Well, I don't think there was any doubt about it. I mean, something, instinct maybe tells you. Delinquents, drug addicts more likely. Yes, I bet that's what they are. Which brings me to what I wanted to ask. Um, have you been able to, to do anything? You remember that request for a license I made to you, Inspector? I had a little difficulty, however. Believe me, Inspector, I, I abhor any kind of violence. I do, really. It's a distressing world we live in, when a man who is brought up to hate violence is forced to, to defend his, his family, his wife, home, kids. But what can you do? What would you do if your loved ones were threatened? I mean, I can understand the need to, to steal if you're hungry, but to use violence? No, violence is something else. But they seem to want war, so let's give them what they want. Let's give them war. This is something we could talk about indefinitely. Here's your license to carry a weapon. Oh. Thank you. Nice of you to be so understanding, Inspector. That's all right. Good day. Good
Excuse me. Huh? Okay, King. What's the matter? Something wrong? No, it's just that Rosanna's not back yet. And it's late. She's been out late before, and she gets later each time. I thought you'd know what to do. I've warned her, but it doesn't do any good. Now I feel it's my turn. I think you're much too lenient with her. Being an understanding parent is fine up to a point. What is that? What do you mean? Can't you see? It's a weapon. That's where we've got to. Well, put it down. Don't wave it about. It's for your protection. Put it down. It scares me, Luigi. Don't be silly. There's nothing to be scared about. Know why I bought it? Because you two need to be protected. Am I supposed to wait until they come to rape my wife and daughter? Is that it? Here. This weapon is yours, too. You know I would never do anything wild. I don't like I'd it. I never ever lose control. But now I'm through. We don't need a gun, I'm sorry. You said previously, if I heard you right, that it wasn't safe to go out at night after dark, huh? Right? Answer my question. It's a fact, no? I don't huh? see what that's I'd like a do simple yes or no. Yes. Ah, good. Now then, we're going out after dark. Now come on. I don't want to go out, on. Luigi. Find a dress. Rosanna Find will be a back dress, soon slip it's into late. it, and make up your face. What you do is I tell you. Where are we going? What's the matter? Is it so strange just to go out for a walk? Get a little fresh air? Be alone? Talk together? It'd be nice if we had something to say to one another. Can't you think of anything to talk about? Oh, yes, I... Plenty. Only it's difficult after so many years of silence to know quite where to start. Try. We could go on keeping up the lie. I know that's the way you'd prefer it. To pretend you're not a stranger to the woman who married you. You're choosing to forget that we hardly have a relationship. I might not be married to you at all. You're always busy and it doesn't make my life very easy. You're never there when I need you. But I cook for you. Don't you think it's about time we talked seriously about getting a separation? Rosanna's big enough now. At least I think she is. No reason to wait longer. Why live like this? What's wrong with the way we live? It's incredible. I get nothing but criticism from you. I don't know what you expect. Anyone would think it a crime to work hard all your life, and for what? To make an enemy of your wife, that's the result. Come home every night to silent accusations, unspoken resentment, not to mention sexual relations. Well, there's no point in going on about it. There's a bar. Let's have a drink and go home. Two customers. Oh, yeah? If you like, I could be a service to you. Huh? What do you want? We'd like a couple of whiskeys. What do I own? Five. I've got it.
Hey, you want to hear a record? Who's home safe and sound? Every light blazing. Ought to make her pay the goddamn electric bill. Door open, whole place of shambles. Not just her room, no. She's taking over the whole fucking apartment. Where'd you know? There she is. Where the fuck do you think you are? In a hotel? You come in and out as you please while we sit here worried to death about what's happened to you. Like a couple of idiots who care about you. Oh, please, Luigi. While all you care about is your stupid goddamn music. Wake up your ideas. Have you nothing to say to your father? Oh, Luigi, give her a chance to explain. Let her alone for oh, a yes, second. poor little thing. Her father is cruel and violent. A fascist, isn't that Please right? calm down. I'll get that nonsense out of her head if I have to. Why can't she see for herself she goes too far? If there's anything I hate, it's making scenes. Having to shout like that. I suppose it's a father's duty. Those boys in the bar were staring at you. Revolted creatures. Just think what might have happened if you'd been alone in there. They'd have torn you to bits. Their only law is fear. You of them or them of you. And that's the bitter, squalid truth. If you're strong and threaten them, then they respect you. If not, you've had it. <laughs> it's the same with your own kids. They'd eat you alive if you gave them the chance. And you only respect those that you're afraid of. First of all, I don't respect anyone. I put up with them. That's quite different. Oh, well, yes, I am afraid. Afraid of being hungry, of poverty. Because I've been hungry. I wasn't born fortunate like you. I'll find someone to keep me. night.
Yes, I know. I understand perfectly well. All right, sit down. All right. Goodbye. Good morning, companion. Good morning. You and I have met uh, only briefly in the past. And it's most unfortunate that I'm forced to see you again under these circumstances. Your department has never caused any headaches, and your sales have always been good. But now this business has cropped up. I... Excuse me. Wait a minute, will you? This is entirely to do with your behavior. May I? Yes, go right ahead. Call me back, will you? Now, please tell me, Campania, is it true you came to work armed with a gun? You mean you called me in here just Yes, to... Campania, I did. Now, I can't talk on the phone now. I have a license to carry my gun. Yes, I'm sure it's perfectly legal, but that's not the point. Sit down, please. I'm responsible for the safety of my customers. If there was an armed robbery in the store, what would happen? What would you do if you were threatened? Be forced to shoot. Hmm. And that must be at all costs avoided. What if you shot a customer by mistake? No, it's not the answer. Unfortunately, it's not that easy. Like so many others, you put a lot of effort in what you produce. This country's kept up by your kind. Your work is too important to be jeopardized by irresponsible behavior, Campania. Guns are for gunmen, bullies, and bandits, not for people like us. We have the police to protect us. Yes? One moment, please. It's something that should be dealt with by the law, not us. I'm so glad you understand and agree with my point of view. Hmm? Yes? I'll see what I can do. Certainly. How'd it go in there? What did he want? Oh, nothing. Was it about the commission? Mm. According to our manager, we're supposed to allow ourselves to be murdered without moving a finger. No, it was about your gun. I told you home was the place for it. You're not a cowboy. It really is rotten. You're 50 years old. You've got a degree, 25 years seniority. You have to listen to this little idiot tell you how to live your life. How dare he? He could be my son if, if he was. I'd give him such a kick in the ass. My dear fellow, that little idiot did market research in the States, so he's way up on us. Sana, come on, what's the matter? God's sake. Well, shake a leg. I've come all this way to show you the house. Look at that, crack's starting already. God knows what materials they use. They don't seem to have done anything at all since we last came out here. I don't know. They want their money every month. Just pay. What for? Have to be watched constantly. Can't take your eyes off him for a second. Ah, uh, this is where we're going to uh, put the, the fireplace. But I thought there was a window there. Couldn't you put it somewhere else? Now, wait a minute. 
Having the fireplace here means it's going to heat the room better. It's important. I designed it for that reason. Look at that. The pillars are supposed to be a foot wide, and they've made them ten inches. Have a look at your room, Rosanna. See if you like it. It'll be, uh, it'll be very pretty. Put a dividing wall here between your room and the bathroom. A little storage space under there. A window here. Your bed, which goes right there. Well, you can decorate with posters, you know, um, travel, old movies, and that. Or put shelving in under here, which you can fill with, well, I don't know, uh, well, that English magazine you've got a subscription to. Huh? You like it? <laughs> Not exactly bursting with enthusiasm, are you? No vitality. Life just slides past, you don't even notice. Might as well go home, I guess. Martha? Yes? My bathrobe. All right. You gotta admit, I got a pretty good figure for my age. Touch Please it. don't. Go Louise. On, touch it. It's hard as a rock. I don't want to. Oh, Martha. I'm not interested. Touch it. You know Stop you want it. To. Go on. Put your hand Leave me on alone. Let you go, you want to. It's bad. Hard. You make me feel awful. I know you're joking. You're joking, aren't you? It's no joke. Tell me I you're don't joking. joke about you. What do you want from me? What do you mean? You're my huh? wife. Let you're gonna make love to me. Don't touch me. I'm not a whore. Call it making love. Years of being raped by you. Is that supposed to be love? You're not coming near my bed anymore. I belong to someone else. I'm not yours anymore. Don't say that, Martha. I'm your nut. I have a lover. I'm obscene. I don't want to hear such filth. I don't want to hear it. You understand? Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. Where's Rosanna? She's with friends. She called. Should be in before long. She's with friends. At this hour. <coughs> Damn it, the door's locked. She's locked the door. about time we found out a little bit more about this young lady, this daughter of ours. It's my you right to know right what kind of a person she is. Luigi. Her father. I have every right to know all about her. The person who lives in this room is a total stranger to me, and I just want to get to know Luigi, her. Luigi, please, leave her alone. she got to hide, huh? Locking your door. People lock their doors when they want to hide something. I suppose you know nothing. No. You never know anything, do you, Martha? Women stick together, cover up for each other. If a young lady locks her door, there's got to be a reason. But we're not supposed to ask what that reason is. But I'm damn sure that our daughter's got something to hide. Martha, you know what this is? No, I don't. Oh, you don't? No, I don't, Luigi. You do? No. It's a drug. Do you understand? A drug. Your daughter is a drug addict. She's a don't junkie, Martha. She don't takes drugs. Me, Luigi, Your daughter's a drug addict, Martha. Don't you understand? Leave me alone. You knew Luigi. about it, didn't you? You knew all about it. Don't lie to me. You no, were hiding. No, I didn't know. It. You didn't know. I don't believe you. Where is she? You know a lot about her. You don't tell me. Where is she? Where is your drug addict daughter? Where? She's with Lorenzo. Where? Where'd they go? At a party in a basement somewhere. In a basement? I don't where? Know where? Where is it? Tell me where. Uh, in Vienna, Tsunade. Where? Ten Vienna, Tsunade. The basement, number ten.
home. Not yet, Dad. Come on, I said we're going. No. Sit down here for a bit, then we'll go home. Rosanna, I'm telling you. Listen to the music with me. Go on. It's great. Rosanna's dad? Looks like it. Lucky girl. You see, I'm an orphan. Sorry. Loaded. Be careful. Oh, don't worry. I'm used to handling guns. He has a Smith and Wesson, the same as this one. He'd know how to defend me. Hey, you know I'd something? I'd like to hold you a minute. I've been raped. You were raped? Yeah. Uh, no, I'd rather not. Just, just have a good look at it in the light. It was awful. The first time there were three of them. The second time eight. Yeah. Oh, please, please let me. I'll never have children. No, sorry. You can't imagine what it was like. It was like being hit by a train or sorry, run over by a horse. I don't want anyone touching you. I was covered please, with bruises for weeks. Come on. Do you mind? Just leave it alone. It's a beauty. I could make love to it. I'd rather you left it alone. It's loaded. It's extremely dangerous. I wish you wouldn't. Multiple rapes a terrible experience, you know. My mother says I'll never get over the trauma. Your mother? I thought you said you were an orphan. Only sometimes. Where is that boy disappeared? Which one? What do you mean, which one? The one who borrowed my gun. Who knows? Oh, Jesus Christ. Itself. I think Federico's been hit. You fucking idiot. What the hell did you do? Don't start getting excited or we'll all be in trouble. You gave him the gun, didn't you? Donatella, Marco, take care of Federico. Look, there's only one way out of this mess. Rosanna, you're going to have to swear you took the gun from your home for protection. They can't touch you. You're a minor and it was an accident. Okay, kid? If not, your no. father will end up in jail. It's true. You're the only one who can help us, Rosanna. You must. You can say you took it without asking, for protection. You're only 17, they won't do anything to you. It could be the end of me. A scandal could wreck my career. I'd be ruined, Rosanna. Do you understand? I, I, I... Say you'll do it, Rosanna. Say you'll say it. Do it for me. Please, do it for me. It's a question of life and death. My fate is in your hands. Please, Rosanna, Hurry. say you'll do it for me. You Please. must get out of here. Rosanna, Hurry. say you'll do it. Please. Please. She's still just a child. They'll give her the third degree. And make her admit it. She's no child. This all happened because of her. It's only right she takes the responsibility. How late is it? Nearly three o'clock. The police are being quite ridiculous. They arrest your daughter and don't even bother to call. No, no, they didn't. But I'd like to go to my room now. Here. This is for you.
He came marching in like the sheriff in a western. We had an absolute ball. It was really wonderful. <laughs> oh, God. Louise, don't hurt her. No, no, no. Bitch! No. You fucking no. little no. bitch! No. Get out of here! Stop it, Luigi! Explain no. me, no. will you? Stop it, you kill her! I'll teach you a lesson no. you'll never forget! No. Stop it! You. I don't want you anymore! Get out of this house and never come back! I don't want to see you ever again! Never again! Out! Out! Martha. Martha. Why the hell didn't you wake me? It's noon already.
Who's there? Luigi. Didn't expect to find you here. You know, we haven't seen you in ten days down at the office. I guess it's one of two things. Either you've been sick or you've inherited a fortune. And if you haven't come into money one way or another, you better get back to work fast. At least five of us are angling for your job. Luigi. <laughs> don't accept our aid, because uh, historically they cannot do as an enemy power wishes. It's all a question of politics and blackmail. I agree that often the two are indistinguishable. Chicken soup, the instant fact that the piping plate of goodness in seconds, made with real chicken stock and pure wholesome vegetables. Take advantage of our six-pack offer. Rising prices seem to be a tide that no one can bring down, and the flood is causing incredible damage, not only to the nation's economy, but to the individual, the consumer, who is getting more and more desperate trying to fight his own salary after the rising level of his expenses. <laughs> Mama bearing up? What's the doctor say? Huh? You know, I haven't had the chance because Martha has been very busy. No, she's not here. The tea party. Did you get the money okay? Of course I sent it. Yes. To cover the first bunch of fees. A permanent nurse. Why won't she go into a clinic? She'd get better treatment. Of course, I know, but all the... Little Bobby behaving. What's Mother know yet? My God. Oh. Look, 
I know it sounds terrible to say this, but well, it's better to die. It's dragging on interminably in agony. It's what, what good is it doing? Yeah, I, I, I promise I'll come as soon as I can, Lilia. I, yes, I will. I promise. I don't know it. Okay. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Mr. Campagna, are you feeling all right? You're so... Please come in a minute. What's the matter, Mr. Campagna? Oh, don't mind me. Come in. Come in. Don't stand on ceremony. The place is in a mess, I'm afraid. I wasn't expecting visitors. I'll glide it. Uh... <laughs> Sit down. Let me offer you a whiskey. Over here. That's it. I know you'll forgive me. Uh, here. It'll make you feel better. A drop of whiskey does wonders. You know, you gave me quite a little scare there. Sitting alone on the steps, looking so quite upset. Here. Is that any better? <laughs> now your color's coming back. It's nice here, quiet. I'm glad you like it. These pictures are all photographs of my career as a singer. I was an opera singer. I saw you on television. Me on television, heaven? Yeah, mind if I... Go ahead, go ahead, help yourself. They asked me so many questions all day. Cameras and pictures, what's the point? It made me feel famous again. like to remove your top coat. What 
are you doing? It's late. Gotta get to the office. Your office? At 10 o'clock in the morning, but you haven't shaved. Aren't you happy here? I have to go. Why not go take a shower? It'll freshen you up. Then you can unburden your soul. Tell me everything. Not the greatest making love. But I can generally cheer a man up when he's low. It helped a little last night, didn't it? <laughs> There's no use hoping you'll find your Martha. She's gone away. What do you know about her? The police might do well to put us on permanent salary. People like me who have nothing else to do because their bodies don't work properly anymore or their vocal cords. We just stand by the window all day and watch you, observing you as you fight, make love, rob each other, and hate each other. You are ridiculous. Always in a rush. Mad, pitiful, and foolish. Where's Martha? Where the hell is my wife? You know, don't you? And for a year now, she's been seeing a man in a white fee at 500. Is that true? They I meet don't at 3.30 every day, and he brings her home at Shut 6. Up. Exactly an hour before Shut you up. get home from work. You're lying. But you know perfectly well it's true. Everyone it's knows. not true. Everyone in the building. You must be blind. It's not true. Why won't you accept it? Ah! <laughs> You're crazy. Everyone knows it. Everyone knows it. <laughs> Everyone knows it. You're going. Who, who do you want to see? Mind your own business. Well, you can't talk to me like that. Who are you anyway? Police. Where's Martha? You mean... Martha. Where is she? Who are you? Look, you can't just... 
Who are you? Come on home, Martha. But you have to. You're work. my wife and you're coming with me now. I'm doing no such thing, Luigi. Oh, yes, you are. Luigi. You're coming home right now. Look, you can't order. You her. stay out of this. I'm talking to my wife. Stop I behaving like a cheap whore, Martha. Remember who you are. Don't who are you? Come on, you're coming home with me. No, you Don't can't. catch me! Luigi, stop it! Nobody's gonna down. take my wife away from me! Oh, 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 Luigi! Come on, man. I'm taking you away from here. shooting that man said he was a policeman. Upstairs. You two up the floor. stairs. Right. You in the elevator. Help! Help! Oh, that man's in there with my child, and he keeps firing at Christ, get a hold of yourself, lady. Do something. We're doing what we can. Do something. Told them you'd never harm a child. They're out of their minds. They think you're a criminal. That you'd hold them hostage. It's madness. Madness, Martha. Just think, less than half an hour ago, all of this could have been avoided. Yes. What am I doing here? I think I know how all this happened. I wanted to, to 
be like the others, even though I even despise them. For their vulgarity and their stupidity, their hypocrisy. But I wanted to be like them, normal. To have a wife, a daughter, a house. I wanted to try to. Justify my failure as a man. I clung to you as if I'd drown without you. And I couldn't bear it when you left me. I had no further reason to to work, to, to go on taking it. Now you come with me. Where? Come. Is there a big crowd, did you say? You can imagine, I'm sure. Take the, the boy and come back. Alone. All right. Martha, don't be long. You wait there. 